good. All right, he's locked in. So uh, visibility is getting a little bit better too. So we've already passed the RV1. So what's an RV1? RV1 is the block slide for digging or cutting. All right, so the block did not go during that method. So we're past RV1. What's an RV2? The steer approaches the block from above and gently steps down onto the upper part of the block within 35 centimeters of the upper wall. The upper wall is right here. I want to make sure I'm centered on the block. Now I'm going to carefully step down and be about 35 centimeters from the upper wall. If it had failed then, that's an R2. What's an R3? Without lifting the heels, the steer drops once from straight leg to bent leg position. So this is what an RB... Oh, oh sorry. Feet together. Push it downward. Pack it together. So this is the, the RB3 loading step. My skis did not leave the ground. I just did a rapid D bend to load it. So no RB3. Steer jumps up and lands in the same compacted spot. So this would be an RB4. Oh. And there we've got a par an RB4 on that top layer. And the next thing we're gonna we're gonna go through the rest of the loading steps too. But right now we've got an RB4 uh, failure. We also with this test quantify how much of the block failed. <laughs> so what does it say for percentage of block failed below that? Uh, let's see. WB is whole block. So if this entire slab from where we cut, this piece right here, all came off with that, that would be WB. Would that be edge of block though? 40 to 10% of the block releases on planar surface? 40 to 10% of the block would be uh, EB. So that would be an RB4 EB, edge of block. Alright, that's borderline red flag. It's not really getting it. RB4 is the last loading step that we think of as, as real red flag. And when just the edge of the block goes, it's kind of right on the line there. So what's an RB5? See your jumps again in the same compacted spot. And RB6, uh, this is an asterisk here. For, for hard or deep sleds, remove skis and jump on the same spot. For soft sleds and thin sleds, where jumping without skis might penetrate through the sled, keep skis on, step down another 35 centimeters, almost to mid block, and push once, then push once, then jump three times. What kind of slab do you think I'm on right now? Hard, hard, hard. hard. Okay. <laughs> this right hard here hard. is hard slab. So for hard, what's taking my speed off going to do? Bend uh, the bubble deeper. Yeah. Bend my stress bubble deeper. That's got a ski brake on it, but I'm going to pass it down. Here, I got it. I got it. So now with no speed on, I can get a deeper stress bubble. So this is RB6. On a hard slab, right? Yep. You jump one time or two times? So just uh, move feet and jump on the same spot. Doesn't say how many okay. times, but one time. One. RB7. None of the loading steps produce a smooth slope parallel failure. Alright, so we got an RB4 EB on this top layer of wind slab that's forming in here. That none of us really got many. Uh, we got one CTM over here. Yeah and then a lot of CTNs, and then a lot of CT uh, E's and V's on that really lower layer that is 